Published, 547 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 30th of March 2018, updated, 549 Eastern Daylight Saving Time, the 30th of March 2018 Women working at Buckingham Palace are paid on average 12% less than their male counterparts, a gender pay gap report reveals figures submitted by the palace to the government's gender pay gap task force indicate a 12.39% difference in average hourly earnings between male and female staff. While the damning report admits that the palace employs more men than women in the highest paid roles, women working at Buckingham Palace are paid on average 12% less than their male counterparts. A gender pay gap report reveals figures indicate a 12.39% difference in average hourly earnings between male and female staff. Palace officials say they are working closely to close the gender pay gap to make sure men and women are more equally represented for job opportunities and possible promotions. A palace spokesman said, these figures show the gender pay gap within the Queen's household to be narrower than the national average, and broadly comparable with other public-funded bodies. We are confident that the figure will narrow further in the coming years, reflecting the household's commitment to ensuring that equal numbers of men and women are being developed and appointed into senior leadership roles. Among the top five jobs at the palace, of a level equivalent to senior civil service grades, ten of the roles were occupied by men and just three by women. Lord Chamberlain Earl Peel £100,000 private Secretary. Sir Christopher Guy, £193,000 Keeper of the Privy Purse Sir Alan Reed, £150,000 Master of the Household Vice Admiral Tony Johnston Baird, £158,000 The Royal Household employed 519 staff of which 280 were men and 239 were women last year, according to the Queen's Annual Report. However, among the top five jobs at the Palace, of a level equivalent to senior civil service grades, 10 of the roles were occupied by men and just three by women. Combined, the statistics show women earn almost two £250,000 a year less than men during their careers, Young Women's Trust's analysis of figures from the Office for National Statistics revealed.